and welcome low brass students. Welcome to another instructional video. Today I'm going over a piece I'm working with my summer band this year. It's, it's called Ghost Lights, the Mysterious Lights of Brown Mountain. If you want to know more about these mysterious lights, you can click the link in the description below. But today I'm going to go over a brief instructional period on the trombone positions and the baritone fingerings. And then I'll go through the piece on both the baritone and the trombone. But I'm going to tell you right now, they're exactly the same part. So there's not going to be any note changes, there's not going to be any harmony. I will be performing the run through at the end with the tuba. So you may hear some harmony there and you'll hear some flute in the background. But for the most part, this is a really cool bass line. And we start at measure two. We're going to be doing these things called wing gusts. So you're going to blow air through your instrument. And you'll be blowing the air through the instrument for uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, a little over fifteen beats. There are some fermatas here in the beginning. The fermata is like a half circle with a dot. That means to hold the note out longer. I'm going to be holding those notes out about one extra beat, and then uh, it ends with a rest, a couple rests after that. And measure eight, we're starting in B flat. It's first position, and for trop for a baritone, that would also be open. So we have three beats and then three beats and three beats and then five or six beats depending on how your director goes. One. And then you hold that note out until you get to 13. 13 is where the tempo is going to change. When I run through, I'm going to be taking it at about 150. I'm going to be taking 150 beats per minute. For right now, I'm only going to go 120 for this practice. I'm not going to go through this whole thing, but just so you can get an idea of what this part sounds like with the rest. For the C, we have six position, and we're playing on beats one, three, and one. And for the, for the baritone, that would be one and three, valves one and three. And then at 17, we play G, A flat, G A flat for trombone, that's fourth, third, fourth, third. For trum for baritones, that would be one, two, one. A flat is first valve, okay? So don't forget that, just like A flat on here is third position. I'm gonna be playing 13 through 22. One, two, ready. <laughs> And you'll notice that continues on at 23. We don't need to play that. And then at 27, we're going G, 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 and then 29. C, F sharp, C. So let's play that. Six, five, six. But remember, we're going up the partial. And for baritones, it's one and three, two and three, one and three. Let's play that 29 through 32. Ready, and. Okay, and then at uh, 33, we have some extra notes, more notes coming in. We have long notes, followed by quarter notes, followed by long notes, followed by quarter notes. And I'll go through the trombone positions, then I'll go through the baritone fingerings. Starting on F at 30, 33, F, G, A flat, E natural, F. So that's four, three, two, one. And then at 36, E, F, D flat, C. That's two, one, five, six. Then it goes up to C sharp, fifth, and D fourth, A flat, G, F, E flat, D, C. Uh, four, one, three, four, six, okay? And for baritone fingerings, the F would be open at 33, and then one and two for G, first valve A flat, E natural go to second, and then open for F. At 36, E natural is second valve, F, D flat, two and three, and then one and three for the 37C, C sharp, two and three, D, one and two, 39. A flat, first valve, 
G, F, E flat, D, C. That's one and two open, one, one and two, one and three. Okay? And then at 41, we're playing G, fourth position after that C, A flat, don't forget that A flat, and then C. G, fourth position, F sharp, fifth position. So on baritone, 41 is one and three C, G one and two, A flat, first valve. And then 45 is C one and three, G one and two, and then F sharp, two and three for A beats. Let's play that entire section at 120 beats per minute, and then we'll be ready for our run through, okay? So we're gonna start at 33. F two, ready. piece if you didn't know we do a, a, a big retardando from 58 59 it will slow down when you see the run through and then at the mysteriously section that's the section where you'll be asked to get out a flashlight or to get out finger symbols and you'll be making different sounds to simulate the ghost lights ghost lights really don't make the sounds but they put some sounds in there and there's a lot of cool percussion sound effects you'll see it in the run through because I'll take like a 20 to 30 second break You'll see that go on and then we'll finish out the piece. At 62, we're back at the original tempo, 60 beats per minute. Wind gusts on 63. And then at 69, we play our last seven notes and we will divide at the end. F, E flat, D flat, G, C, F sharp, F sharp, okay? That's first, third, fifth, G, which is fourth position, C, sixth position, then we end on two fifths, F sharp, F sharp, or F sharp, C, which is sixth position, okay? So I'm going to play this right now, 69. I'm going to end on the F sharp, but you're also going to hear that C, because I'm going to hold out that C, and that last note I'm going to hold for about four beats. Here we go. One. Now I'm going to put the trombone and the baritone parts together. If there are different notes, you will hear them other than the last note, but based on my reading of the two parts, I think they're the same. So I wish you best in your upcoming concert of this. Happy practicing and enjoy the run through. One, ready.